Now that Mark Redwine is the person of interest, we looked back at how he's been involved in this investigation. Just a week after Dylan was reported missing, his mother pointed the finger at her ex-husband, and two days after that, Mark's home was searched. On December 4th, both parents took a polygraph test, but then in February of 2013, Mark refused to take another polygraph when he appeared on the Dr. Phil show. It wasn't until June of this year that Dylan's mother filed a wrongful death lawsuit against her ex. So tonight, Dylan's mom is saying it's a good day in the journey for, to justice for Dylan. 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen talking to his mom about this announcement that Dylan's family has been waiting years to hear. It's one step closer to justice. To a mother who's fought every day for almost three years, today is bittersweet. I would rather have my son here, 16, you know, driving a car, going to prom. I, I would rather all those things happen. But all along, Elaine Hall has pointed the finger at her ex-husband, Dylan's father, Mark Redwine, now officially a person of interest. He was very bitter and very angry and very vengeful. But I never thought he'd take it out on Dylan. Um, unfortunately, I was wrong. Throughout the investigation, Mark Redwine has maintained his innocence. Do you think he'll ever admit anything? No, Mark's not that way. Mark will never admit defeat. The bottom line is there's a jury that will make that decision, and that's where it needs to head. Until then, her wrongful death civil suit is moving forward, another effort to get her ex to tell what happened to Dylan. He'd be 16, and I, I think about how tall he'd be. I think about his personality. He was such a funny kid. Um, the driving force to me is the fact that Dylan can't speak. You know, he's been silenced, so we have to speak for him. Jacqueline Allen, 7 News. And here's a look back at how this case all started. On November 18th of 2012, Dylan went on a court-ordered visit to see his dad, who lives near Durango. The next day, his father reported him missing, and that is when the search started. It centered around Vallecito Reservoir. In the weeks after his disappearance, boats were out on the water looking for clues where Dylan went. It took crews until June of 2013 to find remains on Middle Mountain Road, not far away from Mark's home. We have much more on the history of this case on our 7 News app. There you can also sign up for breaking news alerts as we continue to learn more about this investigation.